Hey everyone, in today's quick iPhone video, I wanna show you how to turn off Find My iPhone. Now, Apple does change this from time to time, so I tend to update this video once a year. So the latest one is going to be in the description if this gets outdated. But there's three reasons why you want to turn off Find My iPhone. It's very useful because if you lose your iPhone, you could use it to find it. But if you're selling your phone, you should turn it off. If you're restoring or resetting your phone, you should also turn it off. And if you're taking your phone in for repair, you should turn it off. It will save some battery life too, but I definitely don't recommend you turning it off for that reason, because if you lose your phone, then you can't track it down. So let's jump into the settings of the phone. I wanna show you exactly how to turn off Find My iPhone. First, let's jump into the settings app of our phone. And on here, we just wanna click our Apple ID here. We should be logged into our Apple ID right on top. If you're not, just go ahead and click there to log into your Apple ID that is required to turn off Find My iPhone. So I'm gonna click my name right here. And previously, it used to be under iCloud is where you had to go, but right now there's a new option called Find My. You see that one right there? Click that, and it'll bring you to this page where it says Find My iPhone is on, or depending on your device, you could be Find My iPad. Click this right here, and right there on top, you want to turn off Find My iPhone. So green is on right now, I wanna turn it off. So I'll click that. It's going to ask me for my Apple ID because it won't be able to do it without my Apple ID. So if you don't know your password, just click forgot password and sign into your Apple ID here. And as soon as you type in your password, find your iPhone is going to be disabled. So again, if I wanna turn it back on, I'll just press it right here and it will get turned back on. And I usually turn these other options on if I'm not doing the three things I mentioned in the beginning of the video, like resetting my phone or selling my phone. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for easy to follow tech videos, and I'll see you next time.